Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm going to show you two easy effortless hairstyles. I'm going to give you little tips and tricks for every step along the way including the blowout so you can get long lasting volume, shiny hair throughout, and then waves that are super long lasting. And after I'm going to show you another style that you can go to from these waves here. And to create these styles I'm only going to be using amazing T3 styling tools from this amazing twirl trio to this super gorgeous cure looks blow dryer and since I am a t3 ambassador what that means for you guys is that every time that I use their styling tools I get to do a giveaway for you guys so if you guys want to win your very own twirl trio with the two extra attachments just stay tuned till the end of the video so you can get instructions on how to enter the giveaway all right guys let's just get into the tutorial all right guys, so the first step in creating any good hairstyle always starts with a good blowout. And to me, what a good blowout is, is when the hair is shiny and smooth and there's volume at the roots. Now in order to do so, you definitely need a blow dryer that's going to give you the best of both worlds. Not all blow dryers have this feature because a lot of blow dryers are actually just intended to get the hair dry. But in order to get a good hairstyle, you want a good blowout, not just to have your hair dry. So by pressing the volume boosting button down here, you can activate that or turn it off. So you want the volume booster on when you're doing the roots. That's almost going to fluff up the hair a little bit, which creates a lot of natural volume that's going to be long lasting. So the way I add volume to the roots of my hair, it's not by grabbing sections this way and adding volume this way, because over time the hair is just going to collapse. So the better way is to grab across sections, grabbing your round brush and blow drying the hair this way. And then doing so in this pattern, working your way to the back of the head. So you have about like four of these kind of waves going back. So this technique mixed with the volume booster is gonna give you super long lasting volume results. So once we have the blowout portion complete, we are ready to move on to the next step, which is waving the hair. And today I'm gonna to be using my absolute favorite curling tool, the T3 Twirl Trio. This is currently what I have in the salon plugged in, what I use on a daily basis. Uh, I love the versatility of having a clamp. The other thing that makes this tool stand out from any other curling iron is the versatility that you get by having two other sized attachment barrels. So you get the one inch barrel, the one and a quarter inch, and the inch and a half, which is what I have plugged in, which is what I'm gonna be using on my hair today. I definitely like something that's kind of more like voluminous and just like a very soft wave to my hair, and that's why I'm using the one and a half inch. The one and a quarter inch is a great everyday use uh, barrel as well. The styles you can create with this tool are absolutely endless and so, so versatile. So I'm going to show you my little technique on how to curl your hair in less than five minutes. It doesn't matter if your hair is as long as mine or if you do have something slightly shorter. Clients oftentimes will tell me that they love the look of waves because it looks so much more put together, but that they don't have time to do so in the morning. And then when they see me do it, they're like, how did you do that in five minutes? Is it because you're a hairdresser? And I'm going to show you step by step that it's all in how you part the hair in order to get an effective curl that's going to last and both so it's really easy in like clean sections for you to work with. So I actually always like to start in the front because I like a much more relaxed kind of wave when it gets to the back. So I like to grab a section as wide as where the end of my ear is and then I just grab that section forward and then from the top I kind of draw just a diagonal line forward. So it's almost like this triangle section. So this is going to be my first section. So then I go in with the curling iron 
and at a soft kind of slope because if I put the curling iron in vertically you're gonna get this really like spiraled curl. If you put the barrel in horizontally you're gonna get a much more relaxed curl but the curl may not hold as well. So the slant I like to do and I always tell clients if you forget which angle just remember the slant of the nose and that's how you're gonna be holding the barrel in the hair. So you put it in, slant of the nose, and just work your way down. And I like to leave the ends of my hair out. And that's that soft wave that I like. So now we only have two more sections to go on this side. Going a little bit further back, diagonal section forward. brushing out each section just to make sure that that section is all kind of going in the same direction. Then same thing, grabbing the iron, sticking the hair through, and same thing, twirl it around, and again leaving the ends section out, bring it down, and let go. And we have our last section. The beauty of these styling tools too is that they are so powerful that you don't have to leave them on the hair very long, which means less damage and more long-term hold. You're able to grab larger sections and still get that beautiful soft wave. All right, so now I have the other half of my hair and going to be doing the exact same thing with those three sections. grabbing that last section and doing the same thing. Then I like to kind of just run my fingers through it and kind of soften it up a little bit. Now if you like a slightly tighter curl, you can definitely use one of the smaller barrels. Like I said, this is my go-to wave style. What I also love about long lasting curls is if you end up wanting to wear your hair up the next day or say you've worn your hair like this to work and after work you want a really quick and easy way to kind of style your hair a little bit differently, having waves in your hair is always going to make that second style a lot easier for it to hold and a lot easier for you to create that hairstyle. Next I want to show you a second hairstyle that I can do once my hair is waved like this. And again, this hairstyle takes two minutes. What makes this style more voluminous and a little bit more elevated is because you already have the waves in your hair. But I personally am not a big fan of like a super sleek ponytail and I definitely like something a little bit more voluminous and a little bit more lived in looking. So I like to just start grabbing the hair really loosely and whatever pieces fall out, I definitely like some hair around my face. I just think that that, again, makes it look a little bit more laid back. Like I said, just grabbing it loosely. And the key to getting some volume on the top is to start pulling it out before you even wrap your hair in a hair tie. Then once you're happy with the placement of the ponytail, go ahead and wrap the hair tie around the hair. Then I like to just pull a few of those pieces on top of the head, just to add a little bit more volume at the crown. So there we have our very effortless and voluminous ponytail. Just to add a little bit more oomph to it, you want to get that raised ponytail look. I'm just going to grab a bobby pin and we are going to pull the hair up, pin it through. I 
All right, guys, so there you have it. Two easy, effortless hairstyles for you to try. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, don't forget to click the link in the description box. I'm super, super excited for this giveaway because, like I said, this is absolutely one of my favorite T3 styling tools, and I would love it if all of my subscribers got to have one of these, too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking that red button down below so you get more awesome hair videos like this. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.